trying to shine up the seeds here on the on the tree. There we go. If, there we go. So this is quite a nice tree if you're ever caught in the bush and you really fancy a cup of tea. And unfortunately, obviously, tea doesn't really grow in the bush. But this is a pretty good substitute, and I've actually tried it myself. A friend of mine actually uh, made it. Now, I've got some seeds that I, I picked up in camp, so I can show you how to make it. So if I grab these here, and then it will give you an idea of the size of the seed as well. So this is from the russet bush willow, and you can see the seeds are quite small compared to my fingers. Now you do get the large fruited bush willow, and if I can hold these here, the large fruited is probably about that sort of size, so it's much larger. Uh, and then you get uh, caterpillars like the caterpillar from the uh, apricot playboy, it's a type of butterfly, and they'll actually uh, emerge from inside the seed. So the, the egg actually gets laid inside, and then they can eat uh, the the um, pulp inside, so I'm struggling to find my words this morning, the pulp inside, and then they can emerge uh, and there's a, always a little hole just at the corner, so just at the corner uh, of one of the sides and that's where they'll actually emerge from. So these, the russet bush willow, all you do to make the tea is you take off the wings like this. And Now you, you notice hopefully that there's actually four wings if I put it on its end there there's actually four wings and that's very characteristic of this type of tree uh, and the genus the Combretum family so you just take the wings off and it's that unfortunately it's a little bit windy if I can take this all off here so you need um, a few of these just to make a, a decent cup of tea you don't want to be eating the pulp at all because that um, doesn't taste very nice and there's a few chemicals in there that will upset your stomach. But literally that's what you end up with. And then you add that to boiling water. And as I say, it's actually quite a nice tea. Um, no caffeine in it, of course, but just the taste it is actually quite nice. So if you know where to look in the bush, you literally have a general store here but you have to know where to look and even ladies there's perfumes here that you can use unfortunately I haven't seen uh, lavender trees around here but uh, they do occur in this uh, in the greater Kruger National Park and you can actually use the leaves uh, and dab them on your skin uh, or wipe them on your skin and you get the smell of lavender um, so if I if I do see one I'll point it out to you uh, 